guys, in this video we're going to have a go at making a Tiana face, one of the Disney princesses. So I've just found a picture of her online and I've printed off two copies of it. And print it to whatever size you want. So if you've already baked the cake, then print the image so that it fits with on your cake. I'm just cutting out around the outside edge of her head. Don't worry about cutting off her ear, that's fine. And I'm just going to remove her eyes. And let's just cut out the piece of hair as well. And then around the shoulders and neck. Now I've got a thin cake card and I'm going to draw around the outside of her face and also her hair. It's an edible pen that I'm using so that it doesn't matter if any of the pen still stays on the board when we add the cake. And then you're simply going to cut that shape out. Next I'm going to check that I've got a cake board that also fits the image on so that I know it's going to be big enough for my cake. So I've gone for a rectangle but you can use round or square. So this is a thicker board this time and we're covering it with green fondant. So a nice pale green fondant. And anything that's gone beyond the edge, I'm just going to trim off with a knife. So I'm just going to do this on a little mat. So I'm starting with my cake card that I've already cut out. And then I'm going to use my cake. So you can cook a square cake or a round one or a rectangle. Just make sure it's big enough that you can cut out the face. So we've used our template. We've cut out one layer of sponge. And I'm going to put a bit of buttercream on my cake card. Now I've got chocolate buttercream today. And I've got red velvet cake. Now I was going to go for a vanilla filling, but I decided I like chocolate. So I'm going to put chocolate in the middle of the red velvet. I'm just going to cut out exactly the same shape again. So that I've got a reasonably deep cake. And then the off cuts of cake, I'm going to use to fill in sort of the bun to the top part of her hair. So I'm only using one layer of cake for that because I don't want it to stand as far forward as the rest of her face. Next, I'm just going to try and trim around the outside edge, taking off kind of the sharp corner and making it slope. Then I'm going to cut a little dip where her eyes go. So you can use the template to put against the cake so you can work out where the eyes go. Again, I'm just going to mark that in and go a little bit deeper. Now I've probably gone just a tiny bit too deep, but it's okay. And then I'm going to cover it in chocolate ganache. You can use buttercream. I've gone for ganache, but my red velvet cake is really soft, so it's crumbling quite a bit. So I had to make sure the ganache was really soft, so I've heated it quite a bit. And it is gradually firming up as I'm going along with it. But I have got a lot of crumbs stuck in there. But that will be fine for eating it. It just doesn't look as nice at the moment, but it'll be fine to eat. So next we're going to make a nice skin tone for her. Now I've got some brown that's already that's a fondant that's pre-dyed and I've also got some like pale skin tone that's pre-dyed and I'm just going to mix these two together and I'll put links to those two pastes in the description box below. First I'm going to make a little nose and I could have probably gone a little bit smaller than this. I'm going to put it on her face, again look at the template for where it goes and then I'm going to roll some skin colour and cover the whole face. Just rub gently onto it with your fingers and then we're going to cut off any extra that goes around the edge. Now, I haven't quite covered the top of her head, that's fine where the hair is, as long as it's covered the part that her face sits in. And you can see when I ice things, they always end up a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to roughly mark where the top of her head comes to. And then we're going to trim that off. I'm just going to try and smooth down the face a little bit. These are just cake smoothers. Again, I'll put links below the description box for these for you. So I'm just putting a mark where I want her nose to come to. So the nose on the picture is much narrower than I've made mine. So I'm just going to try and squeeze it in a little bit smaller. And let's press above those nostrils. Trying to get a nice bit of shape above the nose. So you can use modeling tools, your fingers, if they're clean, um, or the smoother, make the cake smoother. I'm going to use a small ball and tool to push in some nostrils. I'm just going to kind of push the outside edge of the nostrils down and in a little bit. And then I'm going to mark on where I want my eyes to go. And then I'm going to push in the fondant that sits within the eye. My ganache hasn't been set in for that long, so it's still fairly soft, so I can still press into this without any problems. I'm just going to put a little mark for where I want my eyelid to go. I'll do the same on the other eye. And then let's mark the width of the mouth. Now I'm just trying to put an indentation in where I want the teeth to go. I've probably gone a little bit big with this, but it should be okay. So let's take a small piece of white fondant and press that in that gap that we've made for her teeth. Then let's start to put a little bit of colour onto her face. So I'm starting with a pink. Again, I'll put links to everything I've used in the description box below. This is an edible powder and we're using it 
dry. So keep it dry and you're going to use a nice fluffy brush. And we're just going to put it on the eyelids, the cheeks and a tiny bit on the chin. And then I've also gone with a slightly darker brown in the very crease above her eyelid. I've got a ball of white that we've squished and we've kind of made it a bit more teardrop shaped. I'm going to stick that into the space that we've made for the eye. You might need a bit of water to hold it in place and just do the same with the other one. And I'm going to cut two circles of fondant. I've cut three because I think one looks like I've squashed it a little bit. Now this is actually a tiny bit of the skin tone with a little bit of yellow mixed in. And I've tried to roll it really thin. And then I've got some black where we're going to cut out smaller circles. So these are going to be the pupils and iris. So let's place that in position. So use your other template, the one that you've not cut up too much to see whereabouts you want the eyes to go or in which direction you want them to look. Then let's put a piece of black fondant. You can use modeling paste if it's easier for this bit than the fondant. So it's really nice and thin and pointy at one end and then it gets thicker as it comes to the outside edge and I'm just gonna cut diagonally across. The same for the other one. Just got a bit more black, just a small piece, and we're going to roll it into like a long thin carrot shape. I'm going to put a little bit of water just above her eye for where we want to stick the eyebrow. Again, check your template so you know you're sticking it in the right place. The fat end goes towards the middle and the thin pointy end goes towards the outside edge of her head. Do the same on the other one. I've got a dark brown food colouring now. And I've just mixed it with a tiny bit of water and we're going to try and catch just the edge of the iris on each one so it goes nice and dark around the edge and then I'm just trying to blend it in slightly with a bit of water then we're going to stick a small ball of white in each eye so I'm sticking it up near the top I'm looking at my template for whereabouts these are going to go as well next the lips and this was the hardest bit of the whole thing for me was putting the lips on I didn't get them quite right so we've got like a little sausage piece but we then roll each end quite nice and thin and I'm going to kind of follow the edge of the white teeth. And then the top is the same kind of shape again, but this time we put a dip for the cupid's bow. Slightly over to one side. I made these a little bit big, so I'm just going to trim them down. So I'll have a bit of a play around with those so you're happy with your lips. And then I'm just going to add a bit more detail because I went for quite a bright red. So I've got a burgundy coloured food colouring that I've just watered down and I'm kind of darkening the edges of those lips with it. Now for the hair, I've got some black fondant or you can use dark brown and I've rolled it fairly big and I'm going to cut out where her forehead goes and then we're going to stick this piece onto her head so that forehead bit obviously will expose her face and her forehead. Just play around with it, don't have it too far out otherwise it will make her head quite wide at the top. Just press it on gently with your hands and then you can cut anything off that goes beyond the edges. And I just want to work out whereabouts the tiara is going to go. So I think about here. So I'm just pushing in a little bit of an indentation where I want that to sit. Also one in the bun or piece of hair at the top. Down towards sort of where her ear is going to go. Let's stick on her ear. So just a small ball of the flesh colour. Press it down so it's quite tight against the face. I've put two circles, one big at the top, small at the bottom and kind of connected them together to make my ear shape. I've added a little bit of dust just so it matches with the face so it kind of darkens in the middle. Just marking again where I want the headband to go. Now let's make some, some small pieces of hair just to go in front of her ears. I'll try and make them a little bit wavy looking. Now because it's just fondant they're probably not going to sort of stick out too much on their own so we're going to have to rest them against her ear so that the ear supports them. If they don't stick on their own, remember you can put a little bit of water on the back of them to stick them in place or a double glue, either's fine. And we don't see that other ear so we're not gonna worry about adding the other one. Maybe give her a couple of hairlines in here. I don't think there's any on the picture so you don't have to add them. So I've got my cake board that we iced earlier and I'm just gonna have a look at where I want the head to sit. So I've put a shoulders of the template on just so we can work it out and I've added a little bit of water to my board. Water will make the fondant underneath go sticky so her head should stick in place there. Now I've rolled the remaining bit of my skin tone which is, I did have quite a lot left. 
Um, I've rolled it really quite thickly and then cut out the shoulder and neck shape and then I'm just smoothing down the edges with my fingers and let's just push that onto our board giving it a little press down now I've managed to get it so it comes slightly lower than my board so if you want you can trim it down if you don't like it hanging down as low let's press in with our finger just gently to create more of a neckline and I think we can just about see a tiny bit of a dress so let's put a little bit of green on there trim it off so it's like the tiniest little triangle just peeking up there and then we're going to use some more of that green to put on her necklace so just roll it nice and thin press that down in place and then we're going to roll some teardrops and balls for the decoration on her necklace so now to make her tiara i've got a bit of the green left over from the cake board and i've added a tiny bit of blue to it just to change the colour a little bit. We're going to make a strip that's thin at either end and we're just going to put it on our head here. Then let's make the little leaves. So I'm just using the same kind of colour that I've got in the backdrop. I've added a bit of white to it just to lighten it. And I've got a leaf cutter. It's just a generic leaf shape and I'm going to cut out five of these. And I'm going to leave one this size and then the ones at the side we're going to cut smaller I'm just going to move my cutter to one side to cut those and make the leaves look smaller you can cut these freehand if you prefer with a knife which is easy enough to do I'm going to put an indentation down the middle with my Dresden tool and to make them look a little bit sparkly we've got some glitter squares so these are edible squares and also some gold luster dust which I've kind of squirted into my squares already I'm going to cover these leaves in a bit of water or you can use edible glue and then we're going to sprinkle some of those glitter squares on there so they look a bit sparkly now because I've put water on they're a little bit soft and sticky so you do be careful with them and we're going to start sticking these in place on the band that we've added so trim a little bit off the bottom of each leaf now the leaves are still soft so they're going to flop around a little bit so I'm just going to put a small ball of paste at the back just to hold them in place at the moment once it's dried you can remove this piece of paste at the back if you prefer we're going to do this all the way along we'll put the middle one on last then let's roll a nice thin sausage shape or snake shape a bit like we did for the necklace and we'll put this on in pieces so it just is coming out from behind a tiara then at the end of each of these we're just going to add a little ball of paste there she is all finished I haven't done the neatest job with her mouth I think that's the bit I would probably do again if I had chance but I just wanted to have a play around and have a go at making her as I do like this Disney princess I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.